despite the fact that all of our cycles are different, the length, the severity of the symptoms, when it actually happens, I have a ton of universal food replacements that we can make during that time so we can alleviate any of the bloating, the cramps, and the insomnia. And trust me, they're tasty and you won't miss your go-to foods. We all know water retention is no joke, especially this time of the month, and salt is only going to make it that much worse. So avoiding overly salty foods, which happen to mostly be processed, and replacing those things with high fiber vegetables is going to be key to getting rid of that water weight. For me, I prefer steamed broccoli, all fresh at any meal of the day, and some roasted Brussels sprouts. All you're going to do is give yourself not only a nutrition boost, but you're going to get rid of that discomfort that we all know you're having. Unfortunately, we know that this time of the month we're probably a little bit down in the dumps, more so than usual. And simple carbohydrates and chocolate, and cupcakes, and things like that are usually our happy foods. But serotonin can be brought out that make your mood a little bit lifted with whole grains too. We have a ton of recipes on our website, but my preferred ones are a little bit more unique, like our quinoa bowl. So it's curried quinoa with apple slices, raisins, and kale. Love it. Great lunch. A millet bowl instead of oatmeal for the morning with banana, cinnamon, and hemp milk. And then what woman doesn't love popcorn? And if you want, you can even flavor it with sweet things like cinnamon and sugar. So sticking with whole grains is definitely going to be something that not only avoids water retention, it's going to make you smile a little bit more. Continuing on with the happy vibe, omega-3s are something that are going to boost your mood and we definitely need that no matter what time of the month it is. I love doing things that are omega-3 filled like wild salmon in my salmon burger. Lunch, dinner, sometimes I put an egg on top of it for breakfast. So easy, made in about five minutes. All you have to do is put some wild salmon, which comes from here, so it doesn't need to be cooked, in a bowl, stir it around with some green onions and some extra ingredients to mold it together, put it in a skillet, and you're done. Quick and a happy fat, definitely a great recipe. Then chia seed pudding with a little bit of sweetness in there is not only gonna secure your sweet tooth, but it's also gonna give you some more omega-3s. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, again, anything with omega-3s is gonna be a happy fat. Another super common symptom, unfortunately, during this time of the month is insomnia. I definitely suffer from it. So what I try to do is ply myself with melatonin-filled foods before I go to bed so I can guarantee myself a good night's sleep. What we do is have some orange slices with cinnamon dashed on top. Great dessert. I'm trying to still keep it healthy. We don't want to pack on the pounds, right? Some grilled pineapple. And my best trick is to stay ice cream free and go for Nice organic frozen cherries. You can pop a few and it tastes just like you're having a popsicle. And then my last favorite one is doing a little bit of banana, some cinnamon, and I cook it in the microwave with some oatmeal, some cinnamon sugar, and some lemon juice. And I eat that before I go to bed like it's a little cobbler, even though it's really not. But it's healthy and you want to sleep, right? Quick tip, you may be feeling a little extra lethargic this time of the month too, so try ordering your groceries and they can be delivered within an hour from Instacart at instacart.com. It's my definite APL go-to. You can find all these recipes from today and more at ashleypettitliving.com.